Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 13th of September. Doing the right thing, Putin praises PM Modi's Make in India initiative. Nawaz Sharif to return to Pakistan next month to lead poll campaign. And Sri Lanka announces local bond swap deal ahead of IMF visit. And now for all the details, while addressing the plenary session of the 8th Eastern Economic Forum on Monday, Russia's President Vladimir Putin heaped praise on Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for promoting indigenously developed products through the Make in India initiative. The campaign which seeks to promote manufacturing in the country has been a cornerstone of Modi's political campaign since 2014. Highlighting the importance of using domestically produced products, Putin said that Russia must learn from its partners like India as they are mostly focusing on production and use of the cars and vessels under the leadership of Modi. India considers Russia a time-tested ally from the Cold War era with key cooperation in defence, oil, nuclear energy and space exploration. India has so far avoided voting against Russia or criticising Putin since the invasion of Ukraine began in 2022. Authorities in India's southern Kerala state declared seven villages of the Kozhiko district as containment zones and ordered closing down of schools, banks and other institutions after two deaths were recorded from the rare and deadly brain-damaging Nipah virus. One adult and one child are still infected while more than 130 people have been tested for the virus. The central government has dispatched three teams, including the National Virology Institute, to take stock of the situation and assist the state authorities. The virus, which is transmitted to humans through direct contact with the bodily fluids of infected bats, pigs or other people, have so far claimed at least 27 lives in Kerala since the first outbreak in 2018. The Indian Air Force on Wednesday received the first of the 16 flyaway conditioned C-295 transport aircraft from the European manufacturer Airbus. In a formal ceremony held at the Airbus facility in Spain, Seville, IAF Chief Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary received the ceremonial symbolic keys of the aircraft which is likely to get inducted later this month. India had signed a multi-billion deal with Airbus for 56 C-295 aircraft to replace the aging fleet of Avro 748. As per the deal, 16 aircraft will be procured in a flyway condition, while 40 will be manufactured in India in a joint venture by Tata and Airbus at a manufacturing unit in Vadodara. It's a major milestone not only for Indian Air Force but for the whole country for two reasons. One, for the Air Force, it improves our tactical airlift capability by leaps and bounds. For a nation, it marks the beginning of a new era for Atmanirbhar Bharat, wherein, as you are aware, after the first 16 aircraft roll out from this plant, the 17th aircraft onwards will be made in India. And for the Indian uh, aviation industry, it's a big step. Pakistan's former Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif on Tuesday confirmed the PMLN party supremo and his brother Nawaz Sharif is all set to return to Pakistan in October end. This comes ahead of the upcoming elections in Pakistan after the National Assembly was dissolved last month. Nawaz Sharif is living in self-exile in London after being disqualified in 2017 by the Supreme Court and became ineligible to hold public office for life after the court's verdict in the Panama paper case. Shehbaz added the journey of development will continue from where the party supremo had left in the baseless case. He had earlier stated that his brother would be the next prime minister if his party wins the next election. Pakistan has entered an election year as former Prime Minister Imran Khan is serving jail for multiple cases and has been barred from politics for five years. The education sector in Balochistan has suffered years of neglect, shortage of teachers and poor funding under Pakistan's rule, which is subsequently forcing students to drop out. A report. Shortage of teachers 
and Pakistan government's apathy to maintain and reconstruct schools and provide basic facilities are some of the reasons which are forcing many students to drop out in parts of Balochistan. The educational crisis is not new. Each year, budgets are allocated, but the results are virtually invisible. A top education department official said they are unable to fill in the gap as very few people are ready to take up teaching in the remote region. دشت میں خاص طور پر ٹیچرز کی بہت ڈیفیشنسی ہے اس وقت تحصیل دشت میں فورٹی ایٹ ٹیچرز ففٹی ایٹ اسکولوں کے لیے ہے تو اسی طرح آپ کے کردگاپ میں پینتیس پرائمری اسکولز ہیں اور ان میں چوبیس جے وی ٹیچرز اپائنٹ ہے اور اسی طرح ہمارے آئی اسکولوں میں بھی جہاں پہ آٹھ سے نو ٹیچرز کی وہ ہے پوسٹے ہیں وہاں پہ تین کام کر رہے ہیں کئی چار کام کر رہے ہیں اسی طرح میڈل اسکولوں میں بھی کئی دو کام کر رہے ہیں کئی تین کام کر رہے ہیں تو یہ اوورال ایک کمی ہے جو تمام ایریاز سفر کر رہے ہیں ٹیچرز کی ڈیفیشنسی کی وجہ سے اور اسکولوں کے بند ہونے کی مین وجہ بھی ٹیچرز کی نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے ہے Locals say Balochistan is resource rich but remains neglected in terms of development with standards of living and social indicators lagging substantially behind. The poverty stricken people are forced to send their children for odd jobs rather than study. If the community is going to do it, we can do a lot of things. We can do a lot of things in the community. بچوں کو اسکول میں لا سکتے ہیں کمیونٹی کے تھرو ہی ہم اسکولوں کو بہتر سنبھال سکتے ہیں کمیونٹی ہی ہمیں سپورٹ اگر کرے تو ہم ایک بہترین تعلیمی ماحول دے سکتے ہیں اینڈ کرائسس ہٹ شری لنکا ہیز ایکسیپٹڈ آفرز ٹو ایکسچینج اباؤٹ ٹین بلین ڈالرز ورتھ آف ڈی فالٹڈ لوکل ڈیٹ فار نیو بانڈس ٹیکنگ اے اسٹیپ ٹوورڈز میٹنگ ڈیٹ ری اسٹرکچرنگ ریکوائرمنٹس اہیڈ آف این آئی ایم ایف ریویو A total of 3.2 trillion of the 8.7 trillion rupees in bonds eligible for exchange were accepted, the finance ministry said. The settlement date of the exchange has been set up to September 14. An IMF delegation will arrive in Colombo on Thursday for the first review of the $2.6 billion four-year program, which Sri Lanka secured in March. The island nation has set a target of restructuring its debt for the next 10 years and reducing its debt to GDP ratio from the current 120% to about 95% by 2032. An aquarium tunnel is mesmerizing marine life lovers as it debuts in India's Chandigarh city, showcasing hundreds of varieties of fishes. Take a look. On the lines of Dubai and Singapore, the first of its kind aquarium tunnel in India's Chandigarh city is winning the hearts of marine life lovers. More than 250 species of fishes with some rare types have been brought to the aquarium tunnel, which is being thronged by locals in large numbers since its opening at the Sea World Carnival in Sector 34 exhibition ground. Total, we have here aquarium. ڈیفرنٹ ڈیفرنٹ طرح کی اور یہ جتنی بھی یہ ہمارے پاس انڈیا کی سب سے بڑی لارجس ٹرنل ہے ون ایٹی فیٹ پیپل اسپیشلی ینگ وزیٹرز ور ان او آز دی لرنڈ اباؤٹ فشز لائک ٹیٹرا ویڈو ریڈ کیپ کلر گلاس اینڈ مور بہت ساری فشز ہیں نئی نئی طرح کی ہمیں خود بھی نہیں اتنی فشز کی ویرائیٹیز بتا دی جیسے ٹیٹرا ویڈو ہوگی گلاس کلر گلاس ہوگا یہ بہت مطلب نئی ویرائیٹیز ہمیں دیکھنے کو مل رہی ہیں That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.